Good morning everyone. Yesterday we spoke about mixtures. I told you there are two types of mixtures. Homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. Now mixture of two or more substances can be a solution, a suspension or a colloid. One more time, a mixture made up of two or more substances can be a solution, a suspension or a colloid okay now we come to solutions now a solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances the moment we say or we use the word homogeneous it means uniform yes like sugar dissolved in water yes it is a uniform solution yes a solution will have its composition uniform throughout yes so solution is a homogeneous mixture homogeneous meaning which has which composition is uniform throughout yes salt in water sugar in water they are examples of solution okay now solution is made up of a solute and solvent now if we take the example of sugar solution Sugar is the solute and water is the solvent. So we can define solute as the substance that dissolves in a solvent or a liquid. Solutes are also called as dispersed particles. Solvents can be defined as the liquid in which a solute or a substance dissolves. And they are also called as medium of dispersion. Now the basis of solutes and solvents there are four types of solution and the first is solid and liquid you know, like no sugar solution uh, salt solution yes these are example of solid and liquid where sugar and salt they are the solids and water is the liquid then liquid and liquid solution we have alcohol in water dettol in water yes liquid in liquid solution then gas in liquid solution that is like no when we have like soda water where carbon dioxide is dissolved in water so gas dissolved in water then we have solid in solid solution all the alloys yes they are examples of solid in solid like brass yes it is an example of solid in solid solutions okay now on the basis of nature of solvent there are two types of solution aqueous and non aqueous solution now solution which is obtained by dissolving a substance in water here like no sugar in water salt in water they are examples of aqueous solution non aqueous solutions are solutions which are obtained by dissolving a substance in some other liquid than water the liquid can be alcohol acetone carbon di disulfide carbon tetrachloride like no we have i mean the examples can be like no uh, tincture iodine here iodine is dissolved in alcohol then sulfur dissolved in carbon disulfide then bromine dissolved in carbon tetrachloride examples of non aqueous solutions okay Okay, we come to the properties of a solution. The first one, it is a homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture, as I said, it is uniform throughout. Yes. Then the second one, the particles of a solution cannot be seen by the naked eye. They are very, very small. I mean, the size of the dispersed particles ranges from 10 to the power minus 10 to 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Okay. Then a solution is stable. Here means if we leave the solution like that, the solutes don't settle down. Sugar doesn't settle down after we dissolve it in the water. So it is stable. Then there is no demarcation, no boundary where we can separate the solutes and the solvent. Yes, so stable. Solution is stable. Then the components of a solution cannot be separated by filtration. This everybody understands. A solution does not scatter a beam of light passing through it because the, the size of the particles is very small. I hope you all have understood. In case any doubts, do let me know. Thank you.